Did anyone know that the first bombing or the first attempt to take down the World Trade Center was in 1993? Um, well, if you didn't, I'm going to let you know a little bit about that. Um, so without further ado, let's get started on some New York City history. Uh, the Twin Towers is, uh, were completed in 1973, um, and it had about 50,000 employees. When it first was built, it had about 50,000 uh, office employees with uh, people in their offices that worked in them, and there was a uh, food court on the 107th floor. Both buildings stood um, approximately 110 stories high, and at the time when it was completed, it was the tallest skyscrapers to um, be built. But later years, it was take, overtaken by, uh, I'm not sure specifically what the name was, but it was a Chicago skyscraper. Um, and uh, that was um, all according to the History Channel. Um, the, bombing of, the bombing of 93. This attack, it occurred in February 26, 1993. Um, just to tell you, give you a little bit of basically what happened that day. Um, before this actual day, the terrorists, they went and they got a rental van and they built the bomb and they put the bomb in the van. And on this particular day, they drove the van to the basement, which was a parking garage uh, of one of the buildings, and they parked it into the building. Now their main goal for basically a terror attack was to blow up the bottom of one building and have one fall into the other one. Um, they, weren't successful at the attack, of course, because when they parked the van inside the basement, the bomb exploded, because like after they left, the bomb exploded, and they, the, I guess the bomb wasn't strong enough to do what they wanted the bomb to do. So basically the building just wound up falling from the bottom. Everybody in the basement pretty much were casualties of this bombing because it was a restaurant down there, like I said, it was a parking garage down there, so anybody that was in the basement, the whole basement just collapsed. Top of the basement. Um, basically, that was the whole gist of the bombing. Uh, it was like I said, it was unsuccessful, and that was that. Um, I did an interview with my mom. She happened to be an employee at the World Trade Center uh, at the time of the bombing. And she experienced it. Um, I just want to say before I get into the interview uh, part portion, it kind of got towards the end, a little emotional because my mom uh, really got emotional with the bombing and the events of 9-11 because she still kind of remembers everything that was going on. Um, I asked my mom a couple questions. I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, some of the questions I asked were um, basically when everybody found out about the um, about the bombing, how did they react? And they, she were basically saying that their reaction was Everybody was basically panicking because nobody really knew the actual mess what was going on at the time. Everybody just knew it was a fire because those people were running around the building screaming fire, everybody get out. So she was just saying everybody was trying to escape the quickest way they could, the fastest way they could. Some people were jumping out the window. Some people, because every it's like 110 floors, everybody's not going to be able to go through the steps. And the normal building has like two stairwells, but everybody could fit down the steps. So people were just trying to get out the quickest way they could. Um, and then I asked her what form of communication did she use, or how quick was she able to get to a phone to contact our family? Um, and she was saying her and her friend that she's still friends with today, um, after they wound up escaping from the building, they ran across the streets with cleaners and used their phone. Um, the last question I asked her, which was the most emotional question for her, was uh, after like going through this bomb experience, how did this connect with the experience of 9-11? And we were still living in New York at the time of 9-11, and she told me she actually seen the second plane hit the, uh, the second plane at the second building as she was walking doing her daily activities throughout the day. And everybody was like, just stop and heard the noise, like everybody running the streets, like what's going on? So, and then like after the news reports and all that stuff, she found out what was going on and she was just crying. And my brother was, my brother was in high school at the time and he, his high school wouldn't let him out. They let my middle school out, I mean my uh, elementary school out, but they didn't let my brother's high school out because it was so close to the towers, they didn't know, they didn't want any, like, anything else to happen to, like, people that, people had already died, they didn't want any, like, anything else to happen from people, kids didn't let out school and stuff. Um, and another, another thing was, uh, 
basically, um, I found a website with uh, 11 conspiracy theories. And um, the, most, the most conspiracy theory that most of us may know about is that Bush knew about the attacks before the attacks were going to happen. And my mom's uh, opinion about that was, like, she, after the attack, she really disliked President Bush. And she was basically, like, she does agree that he probably didn't know something about it and didn't do much to stop it. Um, my connection with the 9-11 uh, and also kind of the bombing, um, I was born in 1994, so basically, when my mom, after I was born and got older, and she was telling me, like, you may have never been born if I never would have got an attack, because I didn't know about it until she told me about it, of course, because I wasn't born. And then um, my connection with 9-11 is uh, basically I had also saw 9-11. I was in school at the time, and when it happened, like I said, everybody heard the noise. It was a big boom. And basically, uh, there was a boy in a boy's bathroom at the time, and he said, like, when he came back to my classroom, he said he could see what was going on from the window. Nobody knew actually what was going on at the time, so a lot of the boys just ran to the boys' bathroom and uh, looked to see what was going on. Um, and that's basically all I have. This is my work cited. Thank you very much.